you to know that this class I'm going to teach tonight is a lot of information. I've made some um, slides that have to do with using the oils every day of the month just to, to kind of get it put into some kind of order. But I would love to have you chat or unmute and comment anytime that you love something you're hearing or if you hear something you go, oh my goodness, I'm gonna incorporate that into my life now or I didn't know that or here's a tip I have in addition, please just jump in because we just love to learn from each other, okay? Because I have so many fun things to share with you. So I'm gonna share my screen and first, we're going to start off because I think I got the sound to work with a doTERRA is more than an essential oil company. And that's because of you. Because of your commitment to only using pure essential oils, we go straight to the source in 45 nations across the globe. Together, we're providing opportunities for and building relationships with farmers and harvesters. And as we do so, they share the needs, hopes, and dreams of their communities. Because of you, doTERRA Healing Hands can fund projects that provide access to education, meet healthcare needs, and ensure clean water and sanitation. Together, we're tackling some of our world's most challenging dilemmas. Thank you for teaming with us to provide relief in the wake of disasters empowering women, offering tools for self-reliance, and in the fight against the horrific reality of human trafficking through the doTERRA Healing Hands Hope Bomb. And as you share your strengths and desires to make positive, sustainable change with others, choosing to engage in good in your communities and across the globe, Remember that doTERRA Healing Hands is here to help you magnify your impact. Because of you, the world is changing. One drop, one person, one community at a time. Now, I'm not sure if you could hear every word of that. We were both on mobile Well, I guess it would help if I stopped playing my YouTube. There we go. Um, so I'm not sure if you could hear every word of that. It got really quiet when she said, um, human sex trafficking. And I wanted you to make sure that you heard that because doTERRA is so huge on changing this planet. And um, just completely aside from the products and everything that they do and the pure, wonderful things that they give us, they literally are changing the planet. They are sourcing their oils um, in places that other people don't to give us the best oils. But they don't just go somewhere and say, oh, here's 40 acres. Let's, let's uh, you know, use this spot. They find small farmers and they, they would rather have 12 farmers have three acres each and help more people than have a big 40 acre farm. And that is so unlike any other company in the world. They want to help as many people as possible. And so every time I watch little videos like that, I'm hoping to share a minute video with you every week. So you can just understand this company. It, it is not the norm in the world. And we are so blessed to be a part of it. Anyway, thanks for letting me share that with you. Okay, I'm going to share with you some, some pictures. And we are going to really have fun because we're going to talk about using the oils every day of the month. And the first thing you do with your oils is organize them. So I hope you guys have stickers. Do you guys have stickers to put on tops of the bottles? Because I have met some people that don't and they cost 50 cents and they've actually just up, upgraded them. In your back office, it costs 50 cents for a full page of singles and 50 cents for a full page of blends now. But it is so nice to have stickers on top of your bottles to keep them organized, to be able to look down quickly if you keep them in a drawer or on an angle to know what you're working with. I, my husband supports me in my passion by making a lot of wood blocks. And so I love to have my oils in the kitchen, in the bathroom, by my bed. Um, just everywhere I go, I've got something to organize my oils. Uh, it, it doesn't even have to be a wood block. It can just be a cardboard box, but something to collect and organize and keep your oils ready to use. Remember to be putting things in the chat if you have some other ideas, because we really would love to know what your thoughts are 
when it comes to how you organize things or the next thing I'm going to talk about, things like that. Please just share because super, super excited to have you all share your ideas too. So have the oils on hand at all times. So the first time I traveled with the oils, I thought that I had to um, not have my oils go through the x-ray machine. That's not true. Um, oh my goodness. If you tell them you don't want your oils to go through the x-ray machine, I will tell you what they do. They then search every inch of your body and use a wand to go through every inch of the oils that you didn't want to go through the scan machine. It was such a ridiculous thing that I hadn't looked at before I left. And so please know you don't have to go through that. The oils are not affected by going through things. I love to have the oils with me when I travel because inevitably you have something go on go wrong, you have an upset stomach, you have an earache on the plane, you're, you're going to visit somebody and you start to get a scratchy throat and you wish you had your throat spray with you or you wish you had um, some on guard drops, you would want to have things with you. And so I would suggest making a little list. <coughs> I actually like to keep some oils that I love to travel with just ready to go so that I don't have to repack that when I go sometimes. But that's another way that I use my oils. And diffusing is a great way to go. Now I got this new diffuser, this one right here in the middle it says Vitruvi on it, but mine doesn't say that, but it looks just like that one. Um, but it's a new doTERRA one. And I've had that one right beside me going constantly. I love to put peppermint and frankincense in mine. Sometimes I'll do citrusy to uplift me, but getting those oils into our air, aromatically into our systems is a great great way to go. I have the one on the right that I keep over here by my bed and I love to have it um, running at night. If I'm worried I'm not sleep well, I'll put serenity in it. If I'm having congestion or anything, I'll put breathe in it. Um, I know a ton of people that use it to help them sleep and to stay asleep. So I've got a list of about eight or 10 oils that can help with that, but diffusing is the way to go. I just want to look at the chat. Yes, having on guard sanitizer with you when you're on the plane, Lee, that is excellent. So you can clean everything with it. I'm like spraying the seatbelt before I sit down and spraying my table and trying to get all ready to go. That's a great, great suggestion. Okay, when I first started doing oils, I got really excited about roll ons because I'm very, very frugal. And I found a way to buy my roll ons, you're going to laugh, in by the gross. So by 144 roll-ons, you can get them pretty cheap. They were cheaper than buying those little teeny tiny drams. These little teeny tiny drams. Um, I think these would end up costing me more like 28 or 30 cents a piece. And so when I got these roller bottles, I was so super excited. I could just put five or six drops of an oil in there and fill fill it about a third full of fractionated coconut oil and give away a sample that somebody had ready to use topically. And that was a great way to use the oils. Now I use them in my home. I just keep thinking of things I can show you. So I'm hoping you can see these, but maybe you can't when I'm sharing my, here, let me try stop sharing. See if that makes me bigger. So another wood block that Joe made for me holds roll on. So I keep this handy because I want to have the things handy right next to me. And I love to just use it like perfume, just putting it on my neck, putting it on my wrist, having um, handy the oils to use topically. So topically and aromatically. And we're gonna talk some more about other ways to use the oils too. All right, and then sprays. I love to, you put them in sprays too. So I keep a lot of roll-ons and sprays. This little key right here, if you haven't, seen one of those that was a life changer with the roll-ons it helps to put the little cap on i spent the first two years doing oils hurting my hand and pushing them on by hand so that little essential oil key will be a lifesaver for you but these tools help you use your oils better then we get to use them internally so we go into the kitchen with them um and and i keep so many oils handy i keep them handy for smoothies i keep them handy for putting when i'm making spaghetti um i can throw them into a drink really easily today i was having my granddaughter here and she's only three and she for some reason said that she wanted to have make it do a lemonade stand and i She's three years old. She didn't even understand what that meant. And then she asked me for lemonade and I wasn't about to make lemonade, but I grabbed the lemon that was handy and got a glass out. And she, she said to her mom, 
grandma's letting me use a glass glass grandma and I said yep and I put one drop of of lemon in there with just a little bit of water and then I put a little bit of sugar in there and stirred it up she tasted it and she looked at me really funny and so I tasted it and it tasted like water you could hardly taste the lemon so I put two more drops of lemon in there and stirred it up and it was a little too hot for her mouth she liked it she was like oh lemonade and she went oh she did fine she drank some more water and she did just fine but that was handy it was literally within arm's reach when she said I want some lemonade it's because I keep the lemon handy. And if you can keep the oils that you're going to use in the kitchen handy in the kitchen, you'll be more likely to use them. So then we get to go on to um, routine. So get in the habit of turning to the oils first. Oh, I hate to admit these things, but it took me quite a while to get in the habit. I'm, I'm probably like most moms and like, like most of you where you're always making sure everybody else is taken care of. Well, always making sure if they have a fever, oh my goodness, let me see, what can I put on you? But if I have a fever, I'm like, oh, I'll feel better soon. I'll, you know, I, I wouldn't take care of myself. And it took me a while to realize if I would, like Glenda, uh, like uh, Diane said earlier, if I can just nip it in the bud and I start to feel sick, put something on, on the back of my neck, on my throat, in my throat, something I have learned turn to those oils so quickly and then things don't develop and it's a way to go morning routine taking lifelong vitality using the doTERRA products that I have for my skin in the afternoon I take my lifelong vitality again I'm always keeping my diffuser going in the evening I'm taking my Terrazyme before I go to bed and lately DDR prime so just get in a routine so that you're using the things that are good for your body all day long. Sure would love to see chats about what you guys love to do in those areas. So my favorite remedies, peppermint spray. If Sonia was on here today, she would tell you that that is, I sprayed some peppermint water on the back of her neck one day while she was hot. And that's what she went, whoa, what is that? Um, that was literally a few drops of peppermint in some water. And I use that same peppermint spray to take care of bugs in the garden. I use it when I get see an ant on my counter and I want the ants to go away. Um, I use it for fresh breath. It's just a quick, great remedy. A few drops of peppermint in water. Uh, it also will get rid of small rodents. I've had um, a man come to my door and want to buy peppermint, said it, it gets rid of the mice in his barn. Thought that was interesting. Um, I love to just put, like I said, a few drops in a roll-on and add fractionated coconut oil. Lavender roll-on is always my favorite go-to. I'm notorious for burning myself, so that's my quick go-to when I have a burn, but it can help to calm you. It can help for sleep. It can help with anxiety, and it can also help if you have a scratch or a you know broken skin area. Throat spray, I would have to say that's my favorite concoction that I make, and I probably use that almost every other day. I am so not wanting to get sick with this COVID going around. I'm like, what can I do to make sure that I don't get sick? Well, the second I feel a little mucus or anything not being right, I'm immediately spraying my throat spray. So it's, it's a little bit out of reach, but I'd show you because it's on the table over here. But you do have to shake it because I mix it with water. I'm wanting to just put water down my throat, not fractionated coconut oil, and the oils and water don't mix. When I make it in a clear bottle, it's so cool. I sent one to someone this morning, and when I picked up the clear bottle, it's just so cool because you see all the water, and then you see the oil droplets sitting around on the bottom. And you have to give it a good shake so that the um, straw-like thing that's in the spray bottle doesn't just catch the oils, or you'll really give yourself a... Ooh, throat spray but so give it a good shake before using it but just add a drop of each of those in a small spray bottle fill it with water and that throat spray will be your best friend and then of course you can just spray a little bit of something into your mask anytime that you want to freshen that up as well that's one of my favorite favorite tips okay somebody said oh you guys are chatting here and I want to see what these are um Lee you said two drops of frankincense under your tongue in the morning, drop a balance on each foot, lifelong vitality. I'm teaching, hon. I'll, I'll be with you in a minute. 
And then, um, oh, and brushing your teeth with on guard toothpaste. Yep, I do that too. And I've heard of people that put a drop of clove and drops of other oils on their toothbrush before they brush too. So that's a great suggestion. I put a drop of on guard in my um, water pick. Every yes. Day when I'm doing my rinsing with my water pick. That is a great idea. Imagine how much great oral help you get from doing that. Sometimes I'll just swish with the on guard mouthwash too, just to get it all throughout my, anyway, so many fun tips. Uh, like we talked about with my granddaughter today, putting a drop in your water. And I do that in the morning, just to give myself some limonene, which is uh, really in all the citrus oils, but it's best in tangerine. Oh, don't know where my other notes are, but um, all the citrus oils have limonene in it, which is good for, oh my goodness, I could do a whole hour on limonene. There's so many things that are good for us. So put a little citrus in your drinks in the morning, whichever one you like, lime or lemon or grapefruit or tangerine, and uh, make sure you use stainless steel or glass when using the essential oils. So when I first started, they told us, well, when you're doing a class, you should take a styrofoam cup and put a drop of lemon on it. and then everybody will be so amazed because the, le the lemon oil disintegrates the styrofoam. And I've always, I'm not, I'm not sciencey guys. I don't even understand a lot of the science of the oils. And I'm sorry, I don't understand those things. So yes, I was one of those people that was going, why would I show that? That looks terrible that you put this lemon on something and it disintegrates it. But um, when Boyd Truman explained it a week and a week and a half ago, and he said, that's because the styrofoam is man-made and not, you know, natural. We are natural. We are like the plant. So when the lemon goes in us, we work together. When the lemon goes on the styrofoam cup, it just disintegrates it. So anyway, thought that was pretty cool. Thank you, Lee. Tangerine, wild orange, forgot to mention that one, and grapefruit are almost 95% limonene. I knew there was three of them. Thank you. Thank you for that. Okay, and moving on, we get to my favorite belly blend. Now, belly blend before Tamer came out for me was Digest Zen, which I did not like the, the smell, taste, anything, because I'm not a black licorice lover and there's fennel in there. And I would take a roller bottle and add Digest Zen and some wild orange to tame down the smell and fractionated coconut oil. And it would work like you would not believe for nausea, motion sickness, gas, any, anything like that. Then Tamer came out. Now, please know the children's oils are for adults as well. And Tamer has a completely different digestive blend than Digestin does, but the oils they've chosen, uh, I, maybe they're a little more kid friendly. I don't know, maybe they're a little more Schleen friendly. They're spearminty, they're just awesome smelling. But to me, it does the very same. It does really good at handling all of those stomach issues. So I love to keep Tamer on hand. Carrier oil. So I happen to use fractionated coconut oil. I'd love to know if you guys don't use that, if there's anything else that you do use. Um, doTERRA sells it in a 12 ounce bottle, like you see in the picture here. And I, doing doTERRA and sharing doTERRA, I'm like, oh my goodness, 12 ounces. You know what? I go through a lot more carry oil than that. So I found a very high quality brand that I buy at Amazon in a great big bottle so that it's a little bit more cost effective for me to make samples and give to people. But I still say that fractionated coconut oil is the best. Fractionated just means they put something in there to help it not so get solid. So it's not going to be like cooking coconut oil, but it's an actual oil. And it's so good for your skin, even by itself. So it's great to mix. So nobody's putting every, anything else in there. So I'm assuming you all use fractionated coconut oil. Okay, that is awesome. There is so many good kinds out there, but I'm not familiar with them all to see. So what's new? Just want you to know, we talked about the deep blue stick already. Madagascar vanilla is, oh my goodness. I'm so excited. The smell of it is amazing. I diffusing it is, is amazing. You can put a drop into a drink if you want. It's not quite strong enough to replace your vanilla in your kitchen. It's not that it's not strong enough. When they showed this, the video on the making of it, it had um, 
it was real thick and gooey and they added some fractionated coconut oil into the bottle to help it be more liquidy, if that makes sense. Anyway, so, but it's still absolutely amazing smelling. Uh, vanilla is just happy oil for me. Citrus Bliss has always been my favorite, which is vanilla with wild orange and very happy to have vanilla. So if you look at these products um, that are kind of hard to see because they're small, just know that the Abode line has got you covered in the kitchen. If you want an option now, besides the On Guard cleaner, you have Abode in dishwasher pods, laundry pods, dish soap, and hand soap. They've also got a hand lotion that is Citrus Blissy, uh, Citrus, yeah, no, Citrus Bloom. And it's wonderful. Oh my goodness, feels fantastic. So do you notice that they all look like kind of strange packaging? It's because they have made them all recyclable and compostable and concentrated. So you can put small amounts and add your own water or just completely uh, recycle or compost the things that the, the com containers that they come in. That's very responsible of doTERRA and I love it. And the other one I wanted to talk about was the On Guard chewable tablets with the On Guard Plus in there, good for your immune system. They've added vitamin C and vitamin D and zinc and someone help me, beta something. When it's something I don't know or understand, my brain won't remember it. But glue cans, beta glue cans. Beta glucans. I don't know what that's good for, but I bet it's good for you. <laughs> so those are chewable and really nice for my mom that has a tough time. Yes, I will share slides with you, Tammy, and anybody else that would like them. And yes, um, Boyd Truman said that we could use the IQ Mega for internal use. So if you need a carrier oil of choice for internal, the IQ Mega is the children's liquid vitamin that doTERRA makes. And that's a great suggestion. Uh, yeah, really, really good. Yes, and Jolene, uh, fractionated coconut oil is good internally as well. We are so blessed to have these good things. <laughs> they, the chewable uh, on guards, they are, I chewed them. You do have to chew them. Uh, they don't dissolve really well. You do, have to, you do have to give them a little bit of a chew. But that's awesome. Okay, storage. Here's some more ideas for storage. And I just pulled out some pictures of more, like I started with this big bag on the right. I still have it and, and keep some of my less used oils in it. I love things. I don't have this one on the upper left, but I love things like that, that make the oil very accessible and I can see what I'm grabbing. Some people prefer the boxes, but this one in the middle is my, is my favorite kind of one. One that's just, I don't know, just quick and easy to grab straight out like that too. But you'll decide what's right for you. Ways to share uh, and store, sorry, to store your oils. All right, we're cleaning. We've talked about abode, this entire abode line right here. Look at these gorgeous bottles. Um, the only way to get these bottles right now is to buy the whole, whole Evolve kit. But over time, when they get this initial um, rush of new products and everybody wanting wanting everything. They'll make these bottles available individually, but they are so nice to use. I, there's no more me trying to put labels on things. Remember what I put in what, what's ready to use because they are stylish and look so nice and have the names right on them. I have loved, loved using them. Um, I still, I think On Guard will still be my go to because I love it and I prefer the smell of that. Oh, but I have to tell you, as my granddaughter was washing her hands, over and over today with the abode soap. I asked her what it smelled like, and I would love to know, what do you guys think abode smells like? Anybody that has it, what do you think it smells like when you smell it? Well, this, this hand soap is different than the cleaner. The hand soap, I can smell the, well, I can smell the citrus bloom. In is the hand, the hand soap. soap citrus bloom? Yeah. It has citrus bloom in it. I yeah. thought the hand soap was a boat. Nope, the, the soap and the, and the lotion both have citrus bloom in them. That makes sense because I remember them yeah. saying there was two of them. Thank you for clarifying yeah. that. Yeah. No, my daughter, the, my granddaughter thought it smelled like soda. She said it smells like soda. I thought that was interesting. Well, huh. there's baking soda in there and yeah. the cleaning things. So. so I was thinking the hand soap 
was a boat. I didn't even really smell it. She it does. It, it is a boat, but it has the citrus bloom in it. So really? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Because I, I've always kind of smelt lemony and, um, and maybe even lime. Cause lime, it starts. Lime. Yeah. 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 And I thought maybe that's why she thought it was soda. Soda. So, all right. Sounds good. Let's keep going. We're doing great. As we're getting through our month with all the things that we do with the oils, I garden with my essential oils. I use them, like I said, with a peppermint spray, a few drops of peppermint water to keep the bugs away. Um, if you have ant piles, you can actually put hot peppermint water into the ant piles. Um, my husband uses the nasty stuff when it's in, in the yard, but when it's in my garden and I want things to stay um, chemical free, then I can use some of those things. If you are outside being bugged by pests, you can actually use Terra Shield to prevent the pests, the mosquitoes and the bugs from getting at you. Terra Shield, the out, outdoor blend is a wonderful, wonderful option for that. And then this little slide, and those who want the slides can probably look at this a little closer. There's suggestions for pests, for fire ants, for weed killer, for cleaning produce, um, spider mite slugs and basic pests. So, yep. And the basic pest is peppermint in a spray bottle, but that's a lot more drops than I put in mine, but you'll do what you like. What's right for you. Okay. Healing hands foundation is what we kind of showed the video at the beginning about doTERRA makes a difference. They help behind the bottle. They help the people that are getting and growing these wonderful plants and, uh, getting these oils to us. But I wonder how many of you know about smile.amazon.com. Because if you're like me, you probably spend some money at Amazon every month. And if you do smile.amazon.com instead of amazon.com, it's the same exact site, but it gives you the option to put in the uh, healing, not, not the, any charity that you want that's on their list. And Healing Hands is one of those. And they give me an update. So for the six years I've been up, I don't want to tell you how much. It's ridiculous how much I've made the healing hands. Just <laughs> I buy a lot of things at Amazon, but just know it's like a tiny percent. It's just a tiny percent, but why not? And now every time I go to Amazon, I just go to smile.amazon uh, instead of amazon.com. And it gives that little bit to healing hands. So that's kind of a cool option and an easy way for you to give, even though you're already purchasing something at Amazon. All right. So sleeplessness, if we are having a hard time sleeping, lavender, I have literally given lavender roll on with fractionated coconut oil to somebody. And um, his wife said to me, he is off of his sleeping beds from putting that roll on on the bottom of his feet. So I know it can be that easy, just a few drops of lavender with fractionated coconut oil. I know people that have a harder time. Serenity is a blend that has a lot more things in it. Vetiver, Roman chamomile helps. Wild orange, they say, if you put that into the mix in a diffuser, it helps you stay asleep. There's a long list of oils that will help with sleeping. So please, if, if don't, don't give up, just keep trying and try something for a few days because you can make a difference with your sleep that way. All right, so the hair products, have been upgraded. These old ones are still available. I love them. I still use the old shampoo and the new shampoo. I like them both for different reasons. So I've been actually going back and forth between them, but they have these great products that they've made for us as natural as they, as they can. And some of you might think, why are they doing this? Why are they going to dishwasher pods and shampoo and skin stuff? It's because they're doing it non-toxically as possible and they're putting the best oils for our hair or for our skin and everything else to clean to be antibacterial anti-inflammatory they're doing what's best for our bodies and for us and giving us the option to purchase and use these products to detoxify our lives so just just know it's all for our good on guard, on guard, on guard. So they've done all of these wonderful on guard products. We've talked about on guard chewable tablet. And um, the one that's not on here is that they've got the on guard hand wipes now. They also don't have the sanitizer in this picture, but a lot of cleaning your hands and using on guard wipes are now available as well. I used one today and it was awesome to have the feeling that you know you're cleaning 
but you're also protecting yourself and your immune system. All right, so when you say kids oils, remember these are for adults too. And just when people say these oils, they're just, it just must be a placebo effect because it's helping you, but it's probably just a placebo effect. And I know it's not because little children are not going to feel better from a fever if you put peppermint up their back, if it's a placebo effect and it works. And um, I was at Dr. Joy's this week and she said her son the night before got 103 fever. And she said, oh, which one was it? I think it was, I think it was Melaleuca. Oh dear, now I can't remember, but I think it was, it was Melaleuca on the belly button. I said, well, I use peppermint up the spine. She said in the middle of the night, I couldn't remember if it was Melaleuca or peppermint. So I did them both on the belly button. And she said the fever came right down. So it cannot be a placebo. There's too many miracles. I'm not supposed to say that word, but there's too many wonderful uh, reactions that our bodies have from these oils. We're so blessed to have them. So use them on the little ones, but you can feel so safe using any of the touches or these children oils. They've got them diluted to the point that they're safe for older people, people with sensitive skin and children. So Go for that with children. So adaptive came out a couple of years ago, reduces sad and anxious feelings, helps you relax and, and they call it the calming blend. It also comes in a roll-on so you can use it in your diffuser. You can take the pills internally and you can also, um, they've got this bath oil that came out at Christmas time. Don't think that's a regular product right now. Let me know if you want some, because I got a whole bunch at Christmas time. Um, but it is such a blessing to have adaptive because it has helped so many people with anxiety. And again, to have a natural answer instead of medicine all the time is such a blessing. All right. I love to make smoothies and I'm in the habit of having one every morning for breakfast. A protein shake is what I, or a smoothie. And I love to put drops of oils in them. Now I don't use the Italian and the Mexican in my smoothies, but I do use the tropical in my smoothies a lot. I do use um, a lot of the citrus oils. I do use peppermint in my chocolate um, protein shake sometimes because I prefer that little mintiness to it but get in the habit of using the oils in your food because you're going to have the blessing of all the helps help those oils are to your body and the taste as well. So the cuisine blend is not available. It just came out at Christmas time. But um, again, I have a couple of those if anybody's really, really anxious for those. Um, Cause I always go overboard in Christmas time and buy things that I know I won't be able to get at other times. Okay, for focus, I, don't have a hard time focusing most of the time. And so I'm not super versed. I'd love it if somebody had a story about Intune or Thinker, something that's helped them. I know so many people that have said this helps them and that Intune is the right blend that helps them. Uh, Thinker helps them. Vetiver, which I've always thought of as the sleeping oil. It's so interesting to me that I guess if it can calm you down to help you sleep, but I've heard so many people say that it helps them focus. Um, I even have a young lady who joined me with doTERRA almost six years ago, right when I got started. And she started an Etsy shop and she put just a couple of drops of vetiver in a roller bottle and then made gorgeous labels for it and sold them on Etsy as a focus blend for babies, um, for toddlers, for children and for adults. And she said, I just put two drops in a whole roller bottle for the little ones. And then I put five drops for the toddlers. And then I've just put a few more for the, and a few more for the adults. And she said, and I charge more for each. And she has over 300, 100% reviews on Etsy because vetiver works, vetiver works and it helps with focus. Has anybody else? Ooh, I've been not reading. Okay. What have we got? Yep, our Bervide. The adaptive pills are great. Bedtime too. Love that. Basil is good for focus. Love it. There's so many options. It's just like medicine. This medicine will work for somebody and the next medicine will work for somebody. And you've got to kind of sometimes experiment to get what's right for you. And you'll do it. You'll figure out what's right for you if you just keep at it. And when you find the right thing, woohoo, it's awesome. All right, a couple more days in the month. 
Use the, use the oils in your car. You can, if you just have a tissue, step the tissue there, drop a few drops of oil on it. I like to use cotton balls and a, and a clothes pin. That works really well. But if you can just keep that smell going in the car, especially on a trip, that just smells awesome. I have not had success with, with car diffusers and it's probably because I live in Texas and I always have the air blasting and I'm like, what good does it do to have a car diffuser if the air is going to just be blasting my uh, diffuser away? So if anybody has any ideas of how to make car diffuser work better with the oils, but uh, maybe it works better in the, I don't know if it works better in the winter, in the winter, because you're blasting the heat too. So anyway, that's, that's where I have had success using cotton balls or a tissue. And uh, it's an awesome way to use it in your car. Oh, and somebody told me once when they bought a used car, it was Barbara that told me this, when she bought her used car, it smelled like smoke. And she put Purify onto some cotton balls into a glass jar and she just put it in the back of the car. And she said within a couple of days, the smoke smell was gone. So I thought that was cool too. Quite the, quite the answers. All right, next in the month is getting ready for the holidays. And holiday joy is really good for seasonal discomforts, allergies, and, um, and it can help you in that way too. We have an allergy blend, which I didn't put in my display here. So if you need a Texas allergy blend, let me know because there's different uh, things to be allergic to depending on where you live. But there was one time when I had put a holiday joy in the diffuser and then I had bread baking and I went away to run some errands. And when I came back, walked in the door and I just went, oh my word, if anybody wants to sell their house at the holidays, that's what you need to do. Bake bread and put that in the diffuser as people come to look at your house because it'll probably sell your house for you. It was just such a warm, inviting, wonderful smell. We usually have holiday joy and holiday peace which are slightly different pieces, a little bit more piney and woodsy and holiday joy is a little bit more cinnamony and orangey. Um, and everybody's a little bit different about what they like. Uh, day 25 is about making over your mood and using oils for your emotions. And when I started doing doTERRA, I focused on physical, physical, physical. How can I help this person with physical? And what, what have they got going on? What have I got going on? And how can I help people? And the more I learned about the emotional help, um, the more I realized that is maybe even more important. Because if you can uplift somebody who's depressed, if you can help a child calm down, um, those are what really makes the difference. So today I was doing Aroma Touch hand technique. Thank you, Jolene, on my sweet granddaughter. And so she's three years old and she is quite a handful. And um, my daughter's a little overwhelmed with her at times. And I sent Kaylee upstairs to have a nap and said, let me be in, let me have your kiddos for a couple of hours. And, and I got the oils out. I did it on the eight month old baby first, which was very hard because he didn't want to hold still, but um, uh, he did calm right down and go to sleep actually. And then when I did it on Emmy, she just was ready to have me do it on this hand and then calmly let me do it on this hand. And then when her mother woke up from a nap, she says, mom, do you want a hand massage? And she took the oil and she put it on her mom. And then she went like this. And then she turned her mom's hand over and she did just like she was supposed to on the top. I was like, whoa, I only did her two hands. That was impressive. And then she turned her mom's hand over and went dee -dee 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 down each finger. And then she was done. <laughs> she didn't do the whole thing, of course. But I just thought it was precious that she would hold so still for me to do it to her. I know the oils can be calming. I know that they can help. And so feel free to try them for emotional reasons too. I think you will be surprised that there are, there are many answers and not just the emotional blends that doTERRA has made. So many oils help us and we're so blessed. So I love peppermint beadlets for sweet smelling breath. Those you can pop in and push in the roof of your mouth. If you're having a headache, you can use them for fresh breath. Um, you can use them to wake you up if you're traveling. Uh, they are just wonderful. I love uh, my wish in the day that they make frankincense beadlets. That's going to be the day that I'm jumping up and down. I feel like 
I want to have a little bit of frankincense every day, but I've been having to do frankincense and, and DDR prime on the roof of my mouth for my concussion. And those of you who weren't on the top of the call, yeah, I'm a real klutz, but um, the frankincense that I've been putting on the top of my mouth is not tasty either. And that's the first time I've been in a habit of doing it daily because I I've been having to for my concussion. And um, I am just looking forward to frankincense beadlets. I think it would help me take a little bit more frankincense every day without having to taste it. <laughs> All right, classroom in a box is, oh, I forgot to check today. I was gonna check today if it was available. It wasn't available um, last week when I was making this slide presentation. But this is something, now a lot of you don't do the business, but that doesn't mean that this isn't available to you. You can put it right into your cart and order a class in a box if it's available, which I think it might be, but if it's not right now, it will be soon. In the class in a box, I think it's $30. They give you a lot of live guides and they give you some paperwork. That's the stuff you may say, I don't know that I really need this. Feel free to give it to me or somebody else that wants to do the business. But they give you stickers. They give you a book that tells you that's a catalog with everything doTERRA has. So you have that handy. They give you deep blue rub in little packets so that you have that to slip in your purse and your travel and you have deep blue rub with you in small amounts at any time you need it. They give you, I'm gonna sneeze, sorry. No, I'm not. They give you a whole bunch of these little tiny drams and two very nice quality Ziploc bags. Now I saw them at convention because they had a display of it and they weren't your normal bag. They weren't the normal soft-sided little zipper bag. They, I think they're making them nicer bags. They look really nice. And um, so you get two of those and all the drams that you can put your favorite oils in to go into there. And then they give you 10 bottles of wild orange in the five mil size. Now you might think if you're not doing the business, what in the world do I need 10 wild oranges for? Can you imagine what a fun stocking stuffer that would be? What a fun gift that would be to throw into every baby gift or wedding gift that you give somebody. Uh, those bottles of wild, wild orange, I think have changed more lives because they make them, people go, whoa, what is that? It is so amazing smelling. And then I always tell people it's not the juice. It comes from the rind, it's the oil from the rind, and it can really help people be interested in doTERRA and a more natural way of living. So just know that you're free to get a class in the box, class, class in the box, classroom in the box. Ooh, I think it might be class in the box. Okay, so I'm gonna encourage you to use essential oils every day of the year. Um, before doTERRA, I had a lot of medicines in my medicine cabinet and a lot of over-the-counter things. And I can remember the day that I stood there on a, on a stool and on my counter going through things and I put a big garbage can and I just threw them away. And then I posted that I did it. And somebody said, you're not supposed to put that in the landfill. I didn't know that at the time, sorry about that. But I threw away all the old stuff and sure enough, my cupboard now just has doTERRA supplements because they put the best oils in them and they've made them so bioavailable for our bodies so that our bodies can use all of these wonderful products. And we are just so, so very blessed to have them. So I know I went through that really fast and I need to end because it's already 7.53. Trying to see if there's, oh, so Jolene says you're giving wild orange to people coming today to retirement lunch. And it is his favorite. And, and Jolene, I just looked at my cupboard today and I did have three extra boxes. So if you need more, let me know because I can get those to you. And Lee says it's still not available. Hopefully it will be soon. Okay, anybody have anything they want to add that is a good way that you use the oils that maybe I didn't talk about? I talked about a lot, I know. I love taking them internally and um, I have a bladder issue that's been diagnosed as interstitial cystitis. And I'm looking over here. I know my celery seed oil is right here because I keep it right on the table because every week when I put my LLV and my Terrazyme and PB Assist and all of that stuff in my little boxes, that my daily boxes, um, I make capsules. 
these capsules that I get from Amazon. And I put three drops. These are the big ones. I really like the smaller one. But I put three drops of celery seed oil in that capsule and I take it twice a day. And it's really, really helped me. Um, inter interstitial cystitis makes you feel like you have a, a UTI. You don't actually have one, but it makes you feel that way. You feel like you have to urinate all the time and it's a little bit painful. So this has stopped that. So that's one way that I, one thing that I do, and that's internally. And there are so many, you could do those, the lime and eating. If you don't feel like taking, putting lemon or lime in your water all the time, if you want to put, put it in a capsule, do that. You can put it in a capsule. Yeah. Thank you. I didn't talk about the capsules very much. Now, the, the capsules Lee just showed you are not what doTERRA sells. doTERRA sells a bottle of veggie caps, and it's very thin material, and you cannot fill them and let them sit there for a week and take one a day because they will let's disintegrate. 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 And, and if they disintegrate, your oil is wasted and it's a, it's a mess. So they make that out of very thin stuff. Now the, the gel caps that you can buy at Amazon are made of just a little bit thicker stuff, kind of like the gel probably that doTERRA uses for some of their supplements. Anyway, it makes it so that you can make those ahead of time and have them sit there for, I, I've had them sit there for months and they've been fine, but boy, do they disintegrate when they go in because you can tell. So very good point. Thank you. Thank you all for coming. I really appreciate it. I hope that wasn't too much to throw at you, but um, it's fun to share lots of ideas and ways that we can use the oils. Next week, we have Jolene and her husband, Dave, are going to give us a little bit of uh, life with the oils in their life. And Dave is newly retired and he is a bundle of energy. I'm hoping he'll be able to be there. Is it, do you think he's going to be there, Jolene? Uh, that'll be awesome. He, he will for sure. He's made the arrangements. In fact, uh, he's going to do most of the class. Awesome. Oh, we can't wait to hear from him. Okay. So Dave is newly retired and super excited about the oil. So next week is going to be really great. You're going to love hearing from Dave. And um, let's see, there's one more thing. Uh, can't remember what it was. Love y'all. Thanks for coming. We'll see Lee. you next week and stay on for the business. Lee's got a little business for us. Jolene. Yes, Jolene. I just um, wanted to let everybody know because most of you guys out there are waiting for the Aroma Hand Touch Challenge. Yes. So we're, we're announcing how that is going right after the meeting. So you go from seven to eight and okay. at 830, we're going on live. So you guys will get a preview of that beforehand, but that's when we're going on and I telling all of this stuff going on with the um the challenge and then it starts on the 15th so that is awesome anybody that wants to take a challenge of helping share the oils by doing that aroma touch hand technique uh jolene has really come up with a great challenge for people that's why i did my first ones today because i want to take the challenge and start sharing a little sure. bit more that way too it's a great way to help people and serve so thank you jolene thanks you all for coming and stay on if you want to join us for the business Love y'all. Okay. Hey. Hi, everybody. We don't have much time to. I'm sorry. That's okay. Oh, it's yeah, okay. Like, I just, ah. I just like to give people a few minutes in between, but we don't really have that. So, um, can I share my screen? Uh, yes. Okay. Okay. So this is going to be real quick. Um.